This video is here to help you when multiplying numbers by 10. When we multiply a number by 10, it's the same as making a number 10 times the size. And we're going to be using this language throughout the video. Here is the place value chart. As you can see, we have the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column, and the thousands column. As we move from right to left across the place value chart, the value of each column is 10 times the size as the column before. Let's try to apply this knowledge by multiplying a number by 10 using the place value chart. Here is the number 30. How can we use the place value chart to work out 30 multiplied by 10? Well, we know that in order to multiply a number by 10, we need to move our digits or our counters one place value column to the left. We now have zero in the ones column, zero in the tens column, and three in the hundreds column. We know that three hundreds are equal to 300, therefore 30 multiplied by 10 is 300. When writing this down, we must remember to put a placeholder in the ones column to keep the three in the hundreds column and the zero in the tens column. So we know that when multiplying a number by 10, we move our digits one place to the left on a place value chart. This rule does not only apply to integers, which are whole numbers, but we can also use this rule to help us to multiply decimal numbers. Here is a place value chart. This place value chart has all of the columns we have already used, but it also has the tenths column. Here is the number 34.2 on our place value chart. We are going to multiply our number by 10. We already know that when multiplying by 10, we move our digits one place to the left. As you can see, 34.2 multiplied by 10 is 342. Now it's your turn. Here is the number 673.4. I would like you to have a go at making 673.4 10 times the size using the place value chart to help you. Pause the screen here whilst you have a go. Now let's check through your answer. 673.4 multiplied by 10 is 6734, as all of our digits have moved one place to the left. Very well done if you got that one right. I hope that this has helped you to understand multiplying numbers by 10. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots of videos like this on the Twinkle website, so make sure you check them out. See you next time.